Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary functions. So in this given question, we find two arbitrary functions. So the number of arbitrary functions equal to 2. Those are function f and g. Now we are going to use dou z by dou x which is named as p then dou z by dou y which is named as q then dou square z by dou x square which is named as r then dou square z by dou x dou y which is named as s and dou square z by dou y square which is named as t to eliminate the arbitrary functions let's take this as the first expression now taking the one and differentiating this one partially with respect to x so y is treated as a constant now z is dou z by dou x and now y is a constant so it's a as it is f derivative is f dash of x plus here g of y is fully constant and x derivative is 1 so this constant will stay as it is and x derivative is 1 so let's keep this as the second expression in the same way let's take the 1 again differentiate this 1 partially with respect to y first with respect to x now with respect to y so this will become dou z by dou y equal to now since we do with respect to y f of x is constant and f of x is written as it is and the derivative of y is 1 plus in the second term we have x into g of y now x is constant so x is written as it is and g of y derivative is g dash of y this is taken as the third term let's take the second expression and uh, differentiate the second expression partially with respect to y so this will become dou square z by dou y dou x and y derivative is 1 and f dash of x is a constant which stays as it is and g becomes g dash of y let's keep this as the fourth expression then let's take the third expression and we differentiate the third partially with respect to x so dou z by dou x dou y equal to f f of x derivative f dash of x now y is a constant so x derivative is 1 and this constant g dash of y remains as it is so this is our fifth expression but both are same fourth and fifth appears same now once again let's take the second expression and do partial derivative with respect to x so differentiating second expression partially with respect to x so this becomes dou square z by dou x square dou square z by dou x square equal to and y is treated as a constant now so y stays as it is and f dash becomes f double dash of x plus then g of y is purely constant so that becomes 0 so we don't have any term here this is our sixth expression in the same way let's take third expression and we are going to differentiate partially with respect to y so the other side will become dou square z by dou y square now this is a, treated as a constant and here x into g double dash of y so x into g double dash of y this is taken as the 7th but the 6 and 7 is not going to help to eliminate the arbitrary function because this is f double dash and this is g double dash of y so let's try to eliminate 
using the previous expression even as we discussed already this fourth and fifth expression both are same so let's keep till the fourth expression alone i removed all the other expressions so we have till fourth expression alone so second third and fourth and even we have the first expression which is the question itself from this let's substitute the expression for f dash of x and g dash of y from 2 and 3 so from 2 we can take f dash of x and from 3 we can take g dash of y so we're going to substitute 2 and 3 in 4 substituting 2 and 3 in 4 the fourth is do square z by do y do x equal to f dash of x when it is taken from here it is do z by do x minus g of y do z by do x minus g of y the whole thing this y will be carried to the other side as a denominator so we put 1 by y in the same way if i take g of y from third and substitute in this place do z by do y do z by do y minus f of x this whole bracket and there is a x that is taken to the denominator so it is into 1 by x now let's simplify this this is nothing but s yes. and this is 1 by y into p minus g of y plus 1 by x into q minus f of x now rearranging this we are going to take lcm the lcm is both x and y so this term is multiplied into x x into p minus g of y and this term is multiplied with y y into q minus f of x and here we have s yes. so s yes equal to now cross multiplying this xy will be multiplied here so xy into s yes equal to this is px minus x into g of y plus qy qy minus y into f of x now taking these two terms this is nothing but minus z so we can notice from this our question itself y into f of x plus x into g of y so here y into f of x and x into g of y both are minus so both are taken as a minus z so rearranging this is x y s yes equal to p x plus q y minus z once again taking z here z is equal to p x plus q y and this term is taken to the other side minus s yes, x y so the final answer is z is equal to x into p plus y into q minus x y yes so this is our required partial differential equation after eliminating the arbitrary functions